starting. All right, we're good? You're good. Live here with Tora Bright. Hello. Thank you for being here. She's, I don't know, maybe some of you know her. Uh, maybe from Dancing with the Stars, which we won't talk about. <laughs> Anyways, but <laughs> gold medalist in Vancouver, <clears throat> silver medalist in Sochi, yes. right? Right. So, obviously, uh, snowboarding, I didn't mention that. Yeah, snowboard so. half pipe. But, you know, something when I watch snowboarding, I say, my gosh, I can't even believe that these people can do this without having major injury to their head. <laughs> How many well. concussions have you had? Um, let's see, from the time it started to be a problem, I've had seven serious concussions. Yeah. Which, that's how she ended up to be a client of mine. Yeah. And you had tried a lot of things, right? I mean, you had been to a lot of the best of the best, and um, you ended really? up s uh, somehow magically, I don't even know how you came to me, you probably told me, <laughs> I forget, actually. My but. little sister. Okay, there Found you, you go. on Vaccine Revealed, and she's like, oh my gosh, Tora, you need to listen to Dr. Popper, go to this episode at this time, and just listen. No. And I was literally heard your words and your story, and I was... I literally wrote an email on your yeah. website and connected straight away. I wrote you, I think I merrily like replied to me and I wrote my whole story and she's like, oh yeah, you definitely need an appointment with Dr. Pompa. And literally from that first appointment with you, um, you, you understood what I was going through and you had an answer for me. Yeah. Um, whereas before, you know, people were going, oh, you should probably just medicate and this might be the new you, Tori. You should maybe just come to terms with that and I was like no, no way. way am I gonna live like this it's not living I'm not even me but after our first appointment um, I literally cried for 45 minutes yeah, I don't know I'm actually awesome. gonna cry right now my husband had a meeting close to home and he came home to me because I just I couldn't stop crying because I felt like it was the answer and it is the answer I can say like yeah you're a different months. person yeah you're like, a totally different person it's yeah. like it has changed my life it has um, Wow. I mean, I've been in the public eye like all through this kind of recovery and I've always been great at putting on a great face and appearing to be like, yeah. but in yeah. my private life it wasn't that way, you know, everything was hard, yeah. everything was hard work, but it's like, I'm, I'm out of that, I feel me, I feel yeah. in my it's own awesome. power now and it's just, I'm just listening to you and sometimes I understand what you're telling me to do sometimes I don't but I'm like dude this guy I'm like you what he's telling me to do is changing my life so I'm just doing it yeah well I appreciate yeah. that let's talk about that because obviously we're doing the cellular detox you know where you know all yeah. of that has made a massive difference but a fast talk about because these folks were fasting and I want to encourage them to fast because a fast was a transformational time you know so talk about your fasting experience how many days did you fast um, I fasted for five days that's what they're um, fasting by the okay. way I'm encouraging them to fast with me January 2nd for five days but go ahead yeah and I actually <clears throat> joined your Facebook group mm -hmm. yep. and I wish I could be a part of it but it's just not gonna work yeah yeah you're away you're now. traveling that's yeah. how you're ending up here in Park City but yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I have to admit, I was a bit scared. I was like, how am I going to go for five days of health food? Right. Um, and you're just like, oh my gosh, Tori, you're so fat adapted, it's going to be easy. And I had, I prepped for it for a while. Um, and the first day I was like, oh, this is surprising. We, we did move you into you know? ketosis first. I mean, yeah. we did some things on the front end, no doubt. Yeah. Um, and the first two days I was absolutely in awe that I wasn't just out of my mind, like, hangry. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was it was more a mental thing, you know, just Yeah, to, totally is. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was just kinda like, Oh, actually I'm okay and when I'd have come your frames I just drink some water and it's fine. Yeah. And the first so, three days that's really, the hardest. Yeah, right? the third day was really hard. The third day for you was the yeah. hardest, okay. So mind you, my husband when I decided to do it, he tried to convince me oh he did convince me to do it earlier than I'd planned and for some reason, every night I was doing the water fast and we went out to dinner. So I was literally sitting at dinner. <laughs> Don't do drinking. that. Do not do it. <laughs> it was hard. Marilyn's filming and Marilyn's going, what? <laughs> My kids aren't even allowed to eat in the house oh, when I'm fasting. <laughs> I sat at the dinner table with groups of people watching them eat. Yeah, that's and hard. having yeah. to explain what yeah, I was doing, so don't do that. Don't do that. But, yeah. um, what happened day four? Yeah. They got no encouraged for so the people three, on the other side. Day three, I was, I was tired. My body ached. It was like old injuries. Do you hear I that? Ached. Okay. It was, it was miserable. But uh, what you just said, though, because I, I shared that with her, you had like a lot of your old injuries. You mm -hmm. felt them. I like, felt oh my them. gosh, I felt this, I felt that. I'm yeah. sure she had a lot of injuries being a pro athlete. But, yeah. yeah. Um, and so day three was, was hard. Um, 
And then day four, I woke up and I was fine. You were like amazing. Yeah, yeah, you were like, you said so you were we, like ready to dance. We had a friend's wedding coming up. Yeah. Like it was a beautiful sunset, dressed up for a wedding. I'm jumping around, dancing. You know, <laughs> I had so much energy. It was insane. Yeah. Um, and yeah, day five yeah. was amazing. When I broke the fast, I didn't really want to. <laughs> I was like, I just want to keep yeah. going. Like, because mm -hmm. I felt so good. But then when I did break the fast and slowly, you know, got back into eating foods. It was, um, it, it was kind of, it was a spiritual experience. It was, um, mm. it showed me, you know, it was all mental thinking yeah. that we had to eat. Our bodies start healing ourselves when we're not so continually true. putting stuff in us. Yeah, it, it taught me so much. So it was like a really calming, healing, spiritual experience. Yeah, I yeah, loved awesome. it, and I, yeah. I eventually can't wait to do another one. Yeah, and then po post fast, you know, a lot transformed after that. You broke through yeah. a lot of, you know, barriers that you know you needed to break through. You know, all of a sudden mm -hmm. the detox became easier. You know, many things you yeah. know happened after that. So, exactly. you know, I, I think even your gut got better. I, I'm just trying to recall, but maybe you can. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm, I'm like, what was it? We we talk so much, and to yeah. be honest, it's been, it feels like it's been such a short period of time with so much change. It's like hard yeah, to know. keep up with it. But I mean, you did I, transform. I mean, just, yeah. in a, I think a shorter period of time than most. And by the way, you have to notice concussions allow these neurotoxins to go deeper into the brain. So a lot of people watching this, you know, you've had concussions in the past. It literally makes neurotoxins deeper into the tissues, into the brain, and people don't know that. You know? I think that's what triggered the emotional release, was that I had never been told that before. Yeah. And from my own research, like before I got to Dr. Bombay, I was just doing my own research and figuring out what was wrong with me. Yeah. I knew there had to be an answer, um, and I've never come you know, just the MRIs uses gladolinium, which is a, a toxin, and it was going into your brain. You said even after, you know, the last MRI especially, immediately you, like, knew something was wrong. Yeah, in 30 yeah. minutes, yeah. I, I was actually at a point where I felt okay with my um, head injury, and then right. 30 minutes after that, just routine MRI, just yeah. in case, um, Could be I the didn't metal. need to do it, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but it was recommended. Uh, I was I regressed, yeah. and I regressed for weeks after that. So. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah. Appreciate it. I know you encourage them, and I believe <laughs> yes. me, there's a lot of people going, "That's me, that's me." Mm -hmm. So yeah. you know, we'll change lives. So, this guy yeah. knows what he's talking about, and I I am indebted to yeah. you. And well, to be honest, you. my family's health is changing because of you and what I'm sharing with them. So it's like. Uh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. Thank you all. All right. Good luck.